Hi, uh, one of the most um, useful features of the Zora HRC 9000 combo receiver is the fact that you can edit the channel list um, offline, i.e. you can do it on your PC or laptop, which is very handy because if, if you've ever tried to reorganize a channel list um, using the remote control, you know how long it takes, can be a frustrating process, but by doing it on the computer, uh, and then reloading it back onto the box you can save yourself an enormous amount of time and hassle okay so this procedure is just going to show you how to do it so i'm just here already in the zoro 9000 combo receiver product page and if you want to get the channel list editor just go to the downloads tab here and you'll see we have an english user manual we have the latest channel list which you could just download and load on yourself but if you want to actually you know change the order of things um you know the list of channels or whatever you can use the zoro channel list editor okay so if you just download it and save it where you like i just have this directory called files here it's very small it comes down very quick and you can just close okay so i'm just going to open up the directory that i saved it in okay so you can see here already i have this file it's uh, called the zoro 9000 october 11 ab the dot abs that's basically, um, <coughs> excuse me, if you do a file dump from the Zorro, and we have another video in the series that previously will have shown you how to do that. This is basically backing up your channel list and software, okay? So if you get that and put it on your memory stick or something like that, you can transfer it to your PC. But we're interested here now in the, the channel editor itself. So I'm just going to unzip this file. So I'm just going to go uh, right click and I'm going to say extract here okay and um, if you don't have the program i just used to extract it there the best way of doing it is just to right click and go extract all and you'll be brought into the windows um unzipping wizard okay and that'll be easy enough anyway you can see here it created this uh, folder here called ali editor so i'm just going to go in here now you can see that's the name of the program and that's the program we want to click on to open so we'll do that in a second i'm just going to explain a couple of things one of the neat features actually about the editor of the channel list from Zorro is that they have made several different files um, for different boxes of theirs and you can use the same program from them all by selecting these different scripts. Okay, But the one that we're only interested in is the hrs underscore 9000 dot ini. Okay? So you need to remember that. Okay, So if you open up the Ali editor first thing it'll do is it'll ask you basically what box do you want to use this with okay so we know it's going to be the hrs 9000 which is the combo receiver so we're going to select that and the other thing to note is it will work for different chipset types also but the one that's in our um zoro hrc 9000 combo receiver is the m3602 so that's what we're going to select there and then we're just going to go open okay so we're only interested in the tv channel so i'm just going to select that there so what we'll do is file open and just need to remember where you actually stored the dot abs file now i know it's it's one directory up and we're looking we're going to select down here we're going to select these open bin files which is a dot abs and we're going to highlight it and then go open now what we want to select here you don't want the default database you want the user database okay which will be the channel list and select okay now once you've done that it may appear oh nothing's happened i've done something wrong but what you actually need to do is just go up here to the plus sign be beside all services then the plus side beside satellite information and what we would have pre-tuned all these um Zoro combos to Astra um, 28 um, degrees east, okay, which is actually this satellite here that I'm about to highlight, okay, and once I do that, you can see all the all the satellite channels that we would have pre-programmed are there, and it's a very simple process. All you need to do is to move stuff is basically just say, for instance, you know. ITV4 plus 1. Uh, I'm not that interested in it, okay? So what you can do is you use the plus and minus buttons on your keyboard, whether it's a PC or a laptop. Minus will move it up. Plus will move it down. It's as easy as that, okay? And you can do that with all the ones in the list. You can see there, there's piles of them there anyway, okay? Another interesting thing, well, another 
you know handy thing i should say is that if there's programs that you're just not or channels that you're just not interested in at all like we'll say for an argument's sake i'm not interested in bbc parliament i wouldn't be madly political now or anything so i wouldn't be overly interested in that all you have to do is highlight it and just hit the delete button and there it's gone and it's as easy as that and just as another example there we'll say i don't know we'll just pick one at random there say i'm not interested in bloomberg so that was already at channel 28 and it's gone i'm not interested in euro news it's gone cctv gone now if you were doing this on the, on your on the tv using the remote with the box plugged in this will take substantially longer and it can be a frustrating experience Mo not so much the deleting but certainly moving the channels does take a long time so this is a brilliant brilliant idea from Zoro to create this program and do this okay so when you're finished then you're happy enough with your channel list all you have to do is basically go save and then go save you user database and it's as easy as that basically then what you'll see is I'll just go back here. You this will save all the information back to this .abs file. Then you just simply add that back to your memory stick, and then load it onto your uh, Zoro 9000 combo receiver. And we have a video showing you how you load that back up again. So it's a very simple process. And by doing this, you can you can arrange the channels to suit yourself, and basically just save a pile of time. So that's it. So beginning to end. Um, how to use the Zorro chan channel editor.